Morning, welcome in game to Bank's Line Jewelers. Uh, I'd like to introduce today one or two chronograph watches by Amiga. Now, one that we have been requested to show and give you the details on is the Planet Ocean. Now, both of these watches that I'm showing today are both chronographs, both coaxial movements, and they are the new 9300 caliber. It's the same caliber that is actually in the new uh, Speedmaster Dark Side of the Moon. So, a very high quality movement that Amiga are doing their own in house movement. And the main features of these two, price wise, they're both the same price. They're 5,240. One, to me, is an obvious dress watch, which is this lovely DeVille. They both have the column wheel. A design which means that you can stop, start, and then zero. It has a feature of the hour hand moving individually, which also changes the date, which is very convenient if you're going abroad. It means that you don't interfere with the timekeeping. And as with all automatic watches that we have. If you're not wearing the watch for two or three days, the watch will slow down or stop. I always advise people to give it at least 30 winds from a standing start. So in other words, from this position, just literally backwards and forwards in the fingers, and you will wind and you will feel the mainspring actually tightening up. Inside here, you will see this beautiful sort of open case an exhibition case that that is in here but you actually have two barrels if you can focus one here and one there between them they give 60 hour power reserve so it means that once you have fully wound the watch and then you put it on your wrist to wear it will continually wind and keep it fully charged so you get far better accuracy from it and um, it, it saves you completely rechanging it or resetting uh, it every two or three days. Now, once you've done that and you've given it, as I say, up to 30 wines, if you pull the, watch, the button, the crown, right out, the watch will stop and then you can alter the fingers so you get the exact time. When you push it back in, and the dial to watch on this occasion is here at nine o'clock. That is your normal seconds hand. The chronograph feature is purely for timing. Some people do like it going all the time, but um, I personally would leave it in a stop position unless you are timing something, uh, because you do already have the seconds hand dial. So once you've timed whatever it may be over a period stop and then the bottom button will zero it now this particular watch in the Deville range again the sapphire crystal stainless steel and they actually have a matte finish rather a nice matte finish graining on the side of the case uh, these are water protected to 100 meters which is adequate for keeping out dust or accidentally getting wet or even if you went into a swimming pool. Um, the only problem with that, I think you'll ruin the strap because this lovely sort of leather or crocodile strap that they have with a deployant rather nice clasp uh, will get ruined and they'll probably cost you about £300 to replace. So my advice is to use it as a dress watch but at least you know you have that protection of it being water resistant up to that depth. Because it's a column wheel a design watch, you have seals with inside these push buttons. So therefore, if you do go down to any sort of depth, the pressure as you're going down deeper or you're diving actually even seals it even more. So it's quite clever, where previously everything had to be screwed down. Even to the, the crown you will notice on this particular watch, it's just a pushing crown.
like so. It doesn't screw down onto the case. So that's the Amiga DeVille. Very clear, a nice quality dress watch, and very functional. Now, when we move on to the Amiga Planet Ocean, which is 600 meters, this to me is a professional diver's watch. Uh, the case has to be heavier because of the depth that it's actually tested to. They have designed it with, again, a 9300 caliber movement, which is their own in-house movement, the coaxial movement. A helium release valve because of the depth that it can go to, which, if you were diving, would have to be released when you get down to a particular depth. The, the markings and the serrations on the button are very positive, and they have to be if you're wearing a, a wetsuit and, and gloves in order to operate it underwater. Again, you have rather a nice feature of the column wheel design buttons, which are, again, waterproof. They're not actually screwed in. They're, again, they have a seal system inside here, which guarantees that it is waterproof to 600 meters. The center crown, which if you pull it out far enough, you alter the hands. Again, on a mid position, let me just get the mid position, you can alter the hour hand only. Now this particular one, again, does in actual fact screw down tight. So that is screwed down tight, as is the helium release valve. But these two, you can operate it underwater by stop, start, stop again, and then zero. Which normally a lot of diving watches that you get, if you have a look at uh, whether it be a Rolex or whether you look at the Breitling, you'll find that these are actually threaded and screwed in. Uh, a meagre of design these in such a way that you can operate it underwater like so. The crown, or I should say the bezel, which is a ceramic bezel, it gives a bit of a grey sort of matte finished appearance and is unidirectional. So it goes one way only. So you can alter that it gives you an indication of how long you have if you're diving. And you can probably hear that, it's quite a positive ratchet. And then it's set precisely at 12 o'clock. The glass itself is sapphire crystal. And again, you have this rather nice exhibition case back which shows a lot of the damasking and that beautiful move. I'll just open that clasp. When you're moving, you can see the column wheel change feature on this. Both of these watches, if you can just spot what that says, which is SI14, that's a silicon hairspring, which is totally anti-magnetic. The case itself is screwed down, and you can probably see on here, rather nicely engraved on the bezel, professional, 600 meters, 2,000 foot. The bracelet itself, it's all stainless steel, the case and the bracelet. They have screwing links, which I prefer and they can be adjusted very easily and they have links which are screwed top and bottom the bracelet itself is matte finished so if you do get any sort of minor blemishes or scratches uh, you can actually finish these off quite easy the case is a different matter but you can actually finish the bracelet off clasp will have an extension like so so therefore, if you're wearing it over a wetsuit, or if you go skiing even, uh, you can alter that so it can fit over your wetsuit or your ski suit. When 
it fits back in you'll notice that it, if it goes in at this angle it will click very positive into position and that is your normal wrist position wrist size so that's the planet ocean you have these two twin dials one with the seconds hand this records your minutes and also the hours uh, if we leave that going for a, a bit you'll be able to see that and then you have a, a clear date aperture at six o'clock using super luminova you'll find that this is luminous so that you'll be able to read it very clearly either underwater or of an evening and the other feature I do like about it, if you can manage to focus in a bit more on this, Dan, you have a minute track, but inside that it's also split up into very fine grades. So as a result, if you were measuring something, you can literally do it uh, not only to the second, but within the uh, tenths of seconds. So that's a, a very sort of special little... Uh, in a ring, the minute track as they like to call it. Now the dial, if you look at the features on the dial, I love the orange tip on the second hand and also the orange sign for Seamaster. You'll notice that the Amiga is actually applied to the dial. It's, it's not a, you know, it's not something which has been produced very cheaply. It, it's, it's a beautifully high quality uh, logo symbol for the Amiga, which is actually applied to the dial. So, you're getting quite a special piece of equipment there, and something which I feel is not only you can wear it for a dress wear, like so, it goes well with a suit. And you are able to wear that all the time. But certainly as regards being waterproof and a very sturdy watch, with a capacity of sort of 60, 60 hours. A very nice watch that Amiga have produced. But I do like both of these for their in-house movements. The quality of the mechanism is, is excellent. And if we can help you at all the bank's line, we have these available in stock. And... Um, We'll only be too, ple too pleased to show you and um, go through any finer features that you wish to know about it. Thank you again for looking in on us and uh, hope to see you next time. Goodbye.